What up, Sailor Senshi? I'm Sailor Snubs. Welcome to my YouTube channel all about Sailor Ring news and merch reviews. And today I have my gigantic box from USJ, Universal Studios Japan. Now, I actually used three different proxies for these items from Universal Studios in Osaka, Japan uh, during their Cool Japan collaboration with Sailor Moon. The reason why is because my main proxy only went for one day and some items were sold out, so just in case or to tack on extra items, I also used a couple of other proxies too. Now I will link to those proxies down below just in case you're interested in checking them out, but the ones that I used for this gigantic box of awesomeness were No Country for Tall Men, Rare Candy, and Pandemonian over on Instagram. So you can check those out down below if you're interested, if not, that's totally cool too. So I have a ton of items from USJ. I really liked the collaboration this year. There were a lot of really awesome items that I wanted to collect and a few things that I was unsure about but by the end of the collaboration I was like okay yeah I need to get that thing. So it's a very very large box so I'm gonna go ahead and get right into it and I will show you each of these items. Now these items are in no specific order so I'm not going to tell you which proxy I got each item from because I don't remember uh, but if I do see prices on on them I will tell you how much they cost. So this is very similar to last year's Luna P except it's like four times as large. This is the old one from last year's USJ collaboration and this is the one from this year's. So it's much larger and this is for candy so it holds candy on the inside of it. On the back we have a little sticker and if I remove this sticker I wonder if there's candy on the inside of it. Let's find out. <gasps> We do have candies! Yay! I'm so happy that there's candies in here. It looks like there are two different types of candies. We have little candies that have chibiusa on them and they look like little marshmallows. Strawberry and chocolate marshmallows. Yes, they are strawberry and chocolate marshmallows. And there are also something else in here. And these are Luna P Ball Rusk strawberry, it looks like cookies. Yeah, they look like little crackers or cookies right there. Uh, so I'll go ahead and try these and let you know what they taste like. <laughs> uh, but yeah, that's that's it for the Luna P ball. It's got its opening on the back. You can close it up. It's made out of plastic, so you have to be careful with it. This does not have a price on it, so I can't tell you how much it costs, but you could totally use this as a purse. I think this would be very useful as cosplay too, since it's very similar to the actual life size of a Luna P ball, except maybe a little bit too small. So let's try some candy. Oh, there's two different types in here. There is plain and strawberry. So I'll try a strawberry one. And it looks like all of these marshmallows are the same type, so I'll try one of these marshmallows too. Okay, it's more like a really hard cookie. It has sugar on the outside, and it's definitely flavored like strawberry. Pretty tasty, it's not too sugary. And it's also not stale, which is very nice. And this is the marshmallow. Oh! There's chocolate on the inside! So it's a strawberry flavored marshmallow, and it has a little bit of chocolate on the inside. That's actually really tasty. Yeah, that's really good. I'm gonna destroy those. Okay, next. So this is the next item. It's a pen and it has the cosmic heart up at the top. Really pretty plastic packaging on it. A very, very sparkly cosmic heart. And this cost 2,300 yen. Now this is a simple ballpoint pen. So it shouldn't have anything special going on with it. It's a little bit top heavy, but not too much. And this is made out of really nice metal, which is pretty cool. All the gems on the Cosmic Heart are super, super sparkly. Uh, this is very extra for sure. And it looks like you just have to twist it to open up the pen. All right, so that was simple. Let's go on to the next item. I'll show you my shirt. Uh, so this is one of those items that I wasn't too sure if I wanted to get. However, I saw some video of it and I just thought it looked so freaking cool in the sunlight. Uh, this is basically based on Sailor Moon's Fuku. It has the cosmic heart in the middle, of course, and the cosmic heart is super sparkly and the bow is sequin. So it says Super Sailor Moon at the bottom. And all the way around the back, we have that blue scarf part of the Fuku. So on the back, it says Pretty Guardian Sailor Moon, Universal Studios Japan. And I think this was just one size fits all. 
and it's 3,900 yen. Let me see, I am curious. Okay, so the inside doesn't have any covering for the sequins, just the regular cloth that goes on the back of the sequins, so I have a feeling it will get kind of itchy. Um, I usually don't buy sequin items just because of that itchiness that you find with these kind of t-shirts, but the t-shirt itself is really nice and soft, which is good. I'll have to find out if I can wash it, but you will definitely be seeing me wearing this in future videos. This big boy is a cosmic heart pillow. Ta-da! So this will go on my pillow collection over on my couch, which is behind the camera right now. Uh, but I like this because it is so large. I also like it because it's really nice quality, nice sewing going on here, nice embroidery. It's got sparkles all around, got really pretty gold embroidery. And on the back of it, we have this really cute print that includes the Cosmic Heart brooch, the Holy Grail, as well as Sailor Moon's wand and a bunch of the different Sailor Senshi planet symbols. And this item was 3,700 yen. This super pretty piece right here, also with the cosmic heart, you can definitely see a trend here. Uh, this has some really pretty sequin detailing that kind of looks like mermaid scales almost on the back of the cosmic heart. Uh, up at the top we have some embroidered texture for the different gems, and then there's a big sparkly gem in the center. On the back of this is a little slot where you can put cash or your IDs or whatever you need, and then there's also a little zipper pouch. So this can be used for a coin pouch, or in this case, I think they called this a pass case. Uh, so you can actually use this for like your Passmo Pass or your, your train ticket or whatever you want. This item was only 2,000 yen and it's made to be something that you wear over your head and across your body, like a crossbody little pouch. Really cute. I really like how small and detailed it is and I thought it was really pretty. This was an item that was in high demand from a lot of folks. Uh, this is a really cute little Luna beanie. Uh, so this is a beanie plushie. She's very large. She has a very flat face, which I do too, so that's fine. Uh, and she's so freaking soft. I just love how soft she is. Uh, she does have the little Sailor Moon USJ logo for this year on her tag. And her other tag has Naoko Takeuchi on it, all rights reserved, you know, all that good stuff. Uh, she also has a little tag on here that says, like, she's, it looks like it's made so you can set her in, her, in your lap and pet her, <laughs> which is kind of interesting. And she was 3,000 yen, so she was a little bit less than $30. Really cute. I love that I was able to get her. She sold out on the first day, so she was kind of hard to get. Another limited edition item that was a little bit tougher to get is this Holy Grail. Uh, basically, it's a drink bottle. So <laughs> it doesn't look like a drink bottle, but it is, and I will show you how it works. Uh, so basically, on the front of here, we have this really nice gold sparkly plastic, and we have the gems all over the place. The bottom of this is also really nice and firm, so you can set this down on a table and use it, which is great. Now, the reason why this is a drink bottle is because if you were at USJ, you could actually purchase this, have them fill it up with your favorite fountain drink, and then you could wear it so you could carry this around with you. So I can put the lanyard on it, and this is what the lanyard looks like. It's really pretty pink. It says Sailor Moon Universal Studios Japan all over it. And it also has a bunch of Sailor Senshi talismans and wands on it. I can't tell you how much this item cost because it was sold at one of the little pop-up kiosks that give you food. There we go. So. You wear it around your neck, for example, and then if you want to use this for drinks, you open up the centerpiece, which people recommend being very careful with it because it can break. So you pop open the front, slide it back, and then your straw is found right there, which is folded up inside. Now if you want to fill it up with a drink, you unscrew the top, and then you pour your drink inside. Now luckily you could buy this without having any drinks inside of it and just get a regular cup for your fountain drink. Uh, so then you could keep this clean if you are a collector like I am. Okay, on to the next item. This is a pair of tins and these tins also do not have prices on them so I can't tell you how much they cost, but they do have, I believe, candy inside. So I'm gonna go ahead and open these and see what that candy tastes like. Okay, so first we have the Sailor Moon themed tin with the cosmic heart on the top of it, the Holy Grail and her wand along the sides. It says, in the name of the moon, I'll punish you. It's a really nicely made tin. And if I open it, it does have candies on the inside. And these candies look to be 
milk. I have no clue, so let's go ahead and try one. Mmm. All right. Not bad. Definitely not Hershey's. They're a crunchy chocolate. So it's just like a little crunchy chocolate candy. Uh, the Sailor Chibi Moon ones say strawberry on them. So I'm assuming that it's like a crunchy strawberry flavored candy. Yeah, that's basically it. So we have chocolate and strawberry candied uh, crunchy candies in these two tins. This is a very simple item, also one of the least expensive items that I decided to purchase. Uh, this is just a simple reusable tote bag. It has different emblems on the front, has Chibi Moon emblems on the back, it's super pink, and it has a zipper on the top. So that's kind of nice actually. So you can actually zip it up whenever you're trying to use this for things. It's a decent sized bag. It's not bad at all. So I definitely expect that I'll be using this for different things. This was 900 yen too. So it was less than $10. This lovely pack was something I was definitely looking forward to because I needed to replace the one that I currently have. This is a travel bag. So you can hang this in your bathroom whenever you're traveling to different hotels or Airbnbs. It costs 3,300 yen and it's called a hanging pouch. So on the front, of course, we have the cosmic heart brooch. It says pretty guardian sailor moon and it has this cute print all over it. If I open it using the zipper, there's another little hanger so you can hang it from your bathroom sink or whatever. Uh, there's a zippered pouch up at the top and there's also additional storage section at the bottom. So this is gonna be really good for travel and it's a nicely made bag. So I'm very happy about this and it's something I'm gonna get a lot of use out of. I'm gonna go ahead and run through a little pile of smaller items now. Uh, so this is the beautiful crystal, the Millennium Silver Crystal. Uh, this one was 3,400 yen and it lights up. So I really wanna open this and see what it looks like. However, the packaging for this crystal is very beautiful. So I might keep it in the packaging. I'm not sure, maybe. Oh, it's a keychain. I thought it was a necklace. I don't really care either way because I wasn't intending to wear it, but it is a keychain. So it's a little thing that you can put on your purse or wherever you wanna put it. It says Sailor Moon Universal Studios Japan on this little logo up at the top. On the back, there is a battery compartment. It looks like it already has a battery installed, so if I turn it on, ooh, wow, that's really bright. I wasn't expecting it to be so bright, but it is very pretty. It's got a really nice rainbowy sheen to it. It's only the centerpiece that illuminates, but it also glows throughout the rest of it. And it turns on and off. Whoa, look at that. Oh, that's so cool. It's really cute. Okay, that was way cuter in person than I thought it was going to be. Now if I just leave it in its little packaging, it does have this really pretty pillow packaging all around, so it does make it look really nice as a display piece. This is a set of hairpins. So I wasn't really sure if I wanted to get these, however I saw some videos and I saw how pretty and sparkly they were and I was like, yeah, I think I want to get those. So these hairpins feature the Outer Senshi talismans as well as their wands, and it also features the Inner Senshi wands as well as Chibi Moon. So you get all sorts of Sailor Senshi on this one. It was rather expensive. This one was 8,900 yen, and it comes in this very pretty packaging. Now you will notice that some of these are different colors. Uh, most of them are gold, gold barrettes for your hair. However, the very last two, uh, Sailor Pluto and Sailor Saturn's talismans, both of those are actually in silver. So I'm not sure if I would wear those two with the rest of them. This is a jewelry stand. So this features Sailor Moon or Super Sailor Moon's Fuku with the cosmic heart brooch on the center of her skirt as well as the center of her bow. Comes in this really nice plastic packaging again that you see as a trend with the USJ products this year. And on the back of it, it says that it cost 5,800 yen for this jewelry piece. Now I will open this one because it's really easy to take out of the packaging. So with this, the bottom of the stand has plenty of room for you to stick like rings or pins or whatever you need to put down there. The Fuku is only the centerpiece of the Fuku. You don't have Sailor Moon's gloves or anything, but you do get her choker on this little a silhouette as well. The skirt is super sparkly as well as the scarf piece 
and the bow is sparkly too. Now if you're wondering why the Cosmic Heart is in a weird color, it's because they kind of branded that as their USJ color for the entire series during this uh, USJ Cool Japan Sailor Moon collab. So that's why it's not red or pink. So that's pretty, but we also have another item in a box. I think I know what this one is, but I'm gonna open it just to make sure. <gasps> yeah, cool. Okay, so this item was 7,900 yen, and it came with a little authenticity form, uh, which is kind of cool, but this is a pocket watch. Yes, it's a pocket watch. It comes in this really nice pillow uh, case, like you would see like fancy watches come in. Uh, when you open it, it has a silhouette of Sailor Moon in the background with her original anime version. So I'm going to go ahead and take out the pocket watch so I can show you all the different details on it because it's very, very pretty. It comes on a little pillow, wrapping it up. There's a little clamp on one end since this is technically a pocket watch. The pocket watch itself has the cosmic heart on the front of it in gold. And there's also a bunch of little gemstones around the edges. The button at the top flips it open. Ta-da! And then on the inside, and I'll take off the little piece of protective covering on here so you can see it in all of its glory. There's a cosmic heart brooch in the center in gold, uh, kind of printed onto the pearlized backdrop for this clock. Uh, the clock is in Roman characters, and then it also has a bunch of colored gems signifying the different Sailor Senshi along the edges for all of the different hours. The back of it says Sailor Moon USJ. It has the logo on there, and then it also has all of the um, copyrights, of course. This is a really pretty piece. I'm really satisfied with it. Not sure where I'm going to put it yet, but I need to display it somewhere. Another piece that I was very much looking forward to, although it is somewhat simple, is this compact mirror. Uh, I love this compact mirror because it is in a rose gold color. On the front of it we have a silhouette of Sailor Moon, and then there's liquid sparkles right behind her, kind of like what you would see with a lot of cell phone covers these days. So it's a compact mirror. Uh, this costs 1500 yen, about 15 bucks or less. The back of it is made out of what looks to be fake leather, but I can't tell if it's real or not. It is plastic rose gold coloring, and then the inside with the glitter is also plastic. There's two sides to the mirror. You have your regular side and your double magnifying side. And it looks like it has a very tiny magnet holding it together, but it's nothing really heavy set. Okay, I'm not even close to done. I also got these two keychains of Super Sailor Moon and Super Sailor Chibi Moon. Uh, both of them have really cute embroidered eyes and they have really shiny little features on them like the hairpins and the little Odongu balls. And then you also have the Cosmic Heart brooch on Sailor Moon, which is still in that pretty teal blue color. These are nicely made little keychains and some of my favorite little plushies because they're so adorable. They cost 3,800 yen. This is just a really simple keychain of Super Sailor Moon's Fuku. It does have a couple of gems on the front that are super sparkly. There's a cute little heart on it as well. And then it's heart shaped as far as the keychain goes. This was 1,200 yen. I love this kind of print where it just covers the entire shirt, so I really wanted to get this shirt as well. This features all of the Sailor Senshi, including the outers and Chibi Moon. It's a beautiful t-shirt. It's very, very soft too. It feels like it's kind of polyester in there. And this was 3,900 yen. Uh, looks like I got a medium size, I want to say, in this one. And I guess it came with a bunch of different sizes. but. Yeah, medium looks like it'll be fine for me, if not a little bit large, but that's totally fine. I just love the print, it's so pretty, and on the back of it you still get that pink and purple vibe, and it says, Pretty Guardian Sailor Moon, Universal Studios, Japan. One of the nice things that you could get from USJ was leather goods. So this was a leather good that I chose to get. Uh, on it, you could get your name on the little keychain, or you could get it printed somewhere on the front of the pouch. So I just got a little coin pouch. It is real leather, real actual leather, and then what they would do is burn in your name or burn in some kind of saying that you wanted to say on it, uh, but you would have to request that at the actual USJ. So I didn't get that. I just really didn't need to get something personalized. I just wanted the pouch because I thought the pouch was really pretty. They also had other leather goods, like they had keychains, they had a pass case, 
They had, I think, like a wallet. There was a bunch of different stuff. So I went with the coin purse, which I could find to be very handy for all of my travels. This item I didn't see a lot of people talking about, but I read the description on the USJ website and I was like, I'm intrigued. This is really pretty purse. Glad I bought it because it is really nice quality. Now this is based, of course, on Princess Serenity's uh, dress. So you have the little balls here, the little pearls, you have the sparkly center crescent moon, and then you have the quilted pattern for the actual purse. The back of it has one little buttoned pouch so you can stick little things behind there. And this was 4,900 yen. If I open this, not much to see right here, but there's actually a print of the Silver Millennium Palace on the inside of it. So if you look down inside the purse, you can see the palace, which I thought was so cool. It comes with a matching handle. This is for your shoulder strap. And there's also a little zipper pouch on the inside of this purse as well. Okay, now we have another smaller item. This was also 2,900 yen and it's a photo frame. So this photo frame features Luna and Artemis with a crescent moon behind them. The crescent moon is all sorts of different color pinks. So different shades of pink, very sparkly too. Up at the top, we have the USJ uh, emblem. And then we also have the cosmic heart on the side in the original color. This is a really small photo frame, but I thought it was very pretty. It's also made out of metal, so it's nice and high quality. And it was so pretty, I just had to have it. This is a towel. It kind of matches the t-shirt that I got. This was 1800 yen. On the front of it, we have embroidered Sailor Moon Universal Studios Japan, the theme. And then we have all of the Sailor Senshi printed from one end all the way over to the other. I also have the USJ towel from the year before, and I'm pretty sure it's almost the same exact size as this one. Both of them are really soft and really pretty. I'm never gonna use them for anything because I think the prints are so gorgeous, I don't wanna ruin it. So this is definitely going in the collection. I just thought it was a very beautiful print on this towel. Another small item I got is this 2100 yen priced passport case. So I've been needing to replace the passport case that I've been using for the past like 12 years. The thing is getting old and grimy. So I saw this one and I was like, I have to have it. So this is a passport case. On the inside of it, you have the space for your passport. On the other side, there is room for cards or cash or whatever you need to put in there. It has the same print as the bathroom uh, hanging pouch that I'm gonna use for my travels. So it will match and it's quilted too, which is very, very pretty. It looks nice, high, high quality. And it also has a metal cosmic heart brooch on the front of it too. Now this matches and looks very similar to a luggage suitcase that you could have gotten at USJ2. I opted to not get that USJ suitcase, uh, mostly because I have really good suitcases, which I'm also reviewing on my personal YouTube channel. So if you want to check that out, you're more than welcome to. Uh, but I thought that this was really pretty, so I did want to get this in this print. Okay, I swear I am almost done. I know I got a lot of stuff. I warned you, I warned you it was a lot, but this is one of the rare items that you could get from USJ. It is the Universal Heart Compact. So it's the Cosmic Heart Compact, but universally themed and branded. Uh, so this was 2,900 yen. You could take this into the theater with you, just like the wand from last year, and you could light it up and it could do really cool, fun things. Okay, so the Universal Heart Compact does come with a pretty cheaply made ribbon, so you can wear it around your neck or around your shoulder or something like that. Uh, and then it has two gold uh, little latches at each end. It looks like it takes triple A's on the back of it, which is good because those are easily replaced. It's plastic throughout, so nothing too special there. And on the back of it, it is slightly see-through, so you can see the two LED strips on the sides and you can see the ground and power uh, lines that go to each one. And here we have our Universal Heart Compact. So you can tell that it's cycling through each of the different colors for all the Sailor Senshi, which is really cool. And uh, I don't think it has any buttons on it, so there's not much you can do with it. But if you wanted to hang it from your neck, for example, so it looks like you have your own cosmic heart brooch in the center of your chest, you totally can with the cheap pink ribbon. <laughs> this is a very, very kitschy toy. So it's very cheap plastic. 
Um, not too much to say about it. I do wish that you could like change to different patterns or something, kind of like with the wand last year, you could change to a specific color, but it looks like this one does not have any kind of buttons on it like that one did. Okay, y'all, I am down to my last two items. This is this year's popcorn bucket. I debated on getting this one as well because I have the popcorn bucket from last year, but I was like, maybe I should just start a collection of all the popcorn buckets. So this is the one for this year. It comes with the same kind of lanyard that you receive with the Luna P ball, as well as the Holy Grail cup. So you do get the same one there. So make sure not to lose it. It has handles on both sides for that lanyard. Uh, the front of it has a rubber textured bow, really, really sparkly universal heart compact in the universal heart colors. And then the rest of it is made out of plastic. To open it, you push down and then backwards on the little lever and that opens up where your popcorn goes. Now, just like with the Holy Grail, you could order this without popcorn inside of it and just get your popcorn in a little paper baggie. So that's what my proxy did with this one. They got the popcorn outside of the box so that they wouldn't have to clean it afterwards. And I'm glad they didn't have to because it's already clean and it looks very beautiful. And last but definitely not least is the most popular item from this entire USJ haul. And that is the Super Sailor Moon doll. So this is the first doll that we have gotten in the collector realm uh, for a very long time, over a decade, maybe 15 years. It's been a very, very long time. Uh, so this is a really, really exciting piece for a lot of collectors. This is the first doll that I have in a perfect box. So I actually bought two of them, one that I'm keeping in the box, and then I'm taking this one out because she does have a damaged box. So I'm gonna take her out. So I did wanna point out before taking her out of the box that she does have the same purple and pink themes that you see with the other USJ collector items. Her background is a really pretty holographic prism print, so it looks really pretty. And on the back of it, it says Super Sailor Moon and it has her wand as well as her brooch and at the bottom you see that she is 4,800 yen. However, I have seen her on eBay for like $75, which is kind of insane. I'm excited to open her, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that here on this video and hopefully you don't mind because I've been very, very excited about checking her out in person. She looks way cuter in person than she does on online because online she looked a little derpy, but when you see her in person, you can see that she has a slightly pink tinted lip. However, on the USJ website, she kind of looked like she didn't even have a mouth. So it is kind of nice to see that she actually does have a mouth. She does not look like Sailor Moon. Um, I have read online that they used the same kind of mold as they use for like Pretty Cure dolls, but I don't watch Pretty Cure. I'm not very familiar, so I don't know if that's true. And I also heard that sometimes you can find the doll with not very good part of your hair in the middle, so it was always really useful to look at all the different ones before you picked one out at USJ. I'm gonna go ahead and get her out of the packaging so I can tell you a little bit more about her. Okay, so here we have our doll. You can move her head around. You can move her body around. She does twist and turn, which is really cool. She doesn't have bendable legs, but her legs do go back and forth, so you can sit her down, for example, and you can raise her arms. Uh, she has a really funky looking gloves that have like a thumb and then the rest of them so they look more like mittens as opposed to, you know, gloves. Um, she's very, very bendable at the end of her limbs, unlike a Barbie, for example. And her boots look more like rain boots than actual Sailor Senshi boots because they are so gigantically huge compared to her feet. She does have undies on and a little bit of tulle to make her skirt kind of pop out a little bit and her bow has the cosmic heart brooch on the front of it. It looks like her fuku is put on with Velcro and the back of it has a really pretty bow that does extend all the way down her legs. Her hair is extremely yellow, so it does look like the anime version of Sailor Moon, and it is curled at the ends of her piggy tails. It's very, very soft, but I don't want to brush through it because I don't want to ruin the curls at the end of the piggy tails. Uh, but I did notice that at the top, her bangs are kind of glued into place, so they're very, very hardened. The Odongos aren't really Odongos. It just looks like they parted her hair and then put it into place with rubber bands. And the two barrettes seem to be stationary, like they are actually a part of her head so you can't really take those out but she's so cute isn't she adorable I'm really happy that I got two of them so I could keep one in the box 
because I definitely wanted to take her out and see what she actually looked like in person. All right, Whew. I finally, finally managed to get through all of my USJ items and that was a lot of stuff. Seriously, that was a huge box. <laughs> Let me know which of these items was your absolute favorite and which item you definitely did not want to miss out on from USJ. I would love to hear your comments down below. So make sure to comment below underneath this video. Don't forget about my giveaways. So links to those giveaways are also down in the video description. And if you have any questions about these, make sure to reach out because I'm more than happy to answer any questions that you might have. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I don't know what I'm doing with my fingers, but that's always important and it definitely helps this channel grow in the future because I love making these kind of videos for you. Thank you so, so much for watching and make sure to stick around for my next episode, which is coming out in just a few days. I'm Sailor Snubs, Johnny.